Hey folks, this is Mike with CNC Mogul. I uh, wanted to do one more test. This is the same three foot machine, have the carriage in the middle. Um, we're going to do a strength test on a different size motor. This is a 381 ounce motor sitting on the side. I just wired in real quickly a 495 ounce motor in the Z axis. It has the same shape and size and everything, uh, just different characteristics. So it's supposed to have more holding torque. Uh, it's rated at 495 ounces, picked up that one from Automation Technologies as well. The old one was a 381 ounce motor, and we got about 32, 33 pounds worth of downward force pushing into the scale uh, with about uh, a thousandth of deflection. So here we go, we have everything zeroed out, uh, pushing up on the back rod, and then uh, here's our scale. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the scale and I have it set for increments to go down just in a, a thousandths at a time. Every time I press page down, it goes down just a little bit. So I'm going to keep pushing down, starting to get some pressure, five pounds. Still not showing any deflection. We'll do 10 pounds. Still not reading anything. I'm going to keep pressing down until I see something here and then look back on the scale. Oh, there I have uh, 0 .0005 at 14 pounds. Still going down. Scale's reading 19 pounds at this point. Okay, we're at 22 pounds. Still going down. Here we got a, a thousandths deflection at 28 pounds. So uh, I might be a little bit towards the left, just a hair. So I'm not quite dead center in the in the gantry. Here we're at about what the max at the 381 was for the downward force. Now most projects, I'm not assuming that you need crazy speeds. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a set of these motors and, and test them out and really do a comparison test in upcoming videos. I'm at 45 pounds. Now we got two thousands. Um, like this is an unusual test because obviously your bit is sharp enough to be pushing into the, the wood at this point. Definitely wouldn't wanna get pinched with 50 pounds of pressure. Two thousands. I skipped at about 53, so I'm going to bring it back up to that. Quite a difference between the 380. Darn it. We'll go to 51 and see what the, the deflection is. 51.6 pounds. We have 2,000 worth of deflection. Now, I, I did it at the most rear of the carriage, so it should be... Uh, pushing this way if it was uh, deflecting and I'm pushing into the scale with a, a typical uh, spot drill um, just for testing purposes. Hopefully this gives people an idea what to expect, what to do. Um, I'm guessing this is a slower top-end motor, um, but would be ideal for a Z-axis.